Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today we are starting off in the kitchen because as usual this is one of the places that gets the messiest because we're always in here eating or grabbing snacks or something. So today I'm going to be cleaning off from dinner. As you can tell here we had spaghetti and right in the section is where my son eats. He is one year old so he's in the age where he makes a mess. So half of the spaghetti ended up in his tummy and the other half is just all over this island and on the floor. So I will be cleaning that up. So before that tomato sauce sets into the countertop, I'm just taking a baby wipe that I had around. Let me know if you can relate and you had kids around. And sometimes you just go and reach for those baby wipes to clean the most random places because I know I do that. And since I had just finished wiping down my baby, I had those out. So I just went ahead and used one to give the countertops a rough cleaning and then I'll come back to fully cleaning it later. But before we get into that, I'm going to be putting all of our leftover food into storage containers and then we'll just work our way around the kitchen cleaning it. Now going with my chalk marker, I'm just going to label these containers and set them on the counter so they can cool down a bit before I put them in the refrigerator. And then we're moving off to the dishes. I did have quite a few of them since I did a lot of cooking on this day. So we're going to take care of those and load up the dishwasher and then I will also be hand washing some dishes. So with that being said, make sure you stick around till the end of this video where I will be sharing a recipe. This was actually a request so I finally got around to filming it. So yeah, stick around for that. About time we stop pretending yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have been following me along ever since we moved into this house, you might remember that I mentioned this was our first time having a dishwasher and I cannot tell you how much I love it. I can stuff so much in there and just save so much time from washing dishes. And of course, I still have some dishes to wash by hand because you can't simply throw everything into the dishwasher. I have learned that the hard way, believe me, I have already ruined quite a few things, but nonetheless, I love having the help of a dishwasher. <laughs> We got everything we need right here Wine and burning chemistry You and me alone You and me alone Inside of our embassy Everything we need right here Make me sing along, sing along I never thought I'd ever be stuck by you Ooh. I never thought I'd ever be stuck by you Oh, watch me 
So here I started to clean out the sink and then a little bit later I realized that there was still a pan laying out that I hadn't noticed. It was inside our little toaster oven so I went ahead and grabbed that and sprayed some of the Dawn Power Wash on it and then just scrubbed it down so I could finish cleaning out the sink. Write down all your memories, feel the things you wanna feel, yeah. In the empty bottle lies all the answers. Oh, watch me dancing in the colors, lightning, blowing up a thunder, wash it over me. We got everything we need, right? Watch me dancing in the colors, lightning, blowing up a thunder, wash it over me, yeah. We got everything we need, right? Now moving on to the stove, I will be wiping it down as well as the countertops and then I'm also going to be removing the covers from our uh, chairs because spaghetti got onto them, they have stains on them so I need to throw those in the washing machine and then I will move on to cleaning some of the baseboards because I had noticed some scuff marks on them so I'm going to be doing that in just a little bit. Keep thinking that I could have done something but now i'm left with an empty heart no making amends no waking up beside you and holding you till we forget it all how could i know there was no second chances like dominoes my life got really scattered you couldn't keep the door shut and now the frostbite's creeping You left me here, so come home. Why won't you reappear? Things that I said came out totally wrong. Can't speak of the truth when it's tainted. I fell into a big black hole. It got me stone cold.
Since this is the area where my kids sit to eat, I noticed that there were some food stains that had made their way onto like the backboard of the kitchen island and also on the baseboard as well as some scuff marks. So I'm going to be taking care of that with this all-purpose spray. All it is is some soap and water. So I'm using that to wipe this down. To wipe away this scuff line mark that was probably caused by our stools, I'm going to be using a magic eraser and just wipe this away. My body, I should have known just because you spent the night doesn't mean you are me. I should have known not to let my guard down so damn fast before even knowing where we really at. Guess I never should have let you in so close to my body, my body. To finish off in the kitchen, I'm going to go ahead and just vacuum. This is now the next day and we're outside in the back patio. I had noticed a lot of leaves and just dirt that had made its way onto here. So I wanted to go ahead and wipe this down because with spring around the corner, there's a lot of like pollen and dust that has made its way onto our patio furniture. So I'm going to take the vacuum and vacuum this all away and then also wipe down all of the surfaces. I'm out of I'm going to take some Windex and yes you heard that right Windex to wipe down all of our patio furniture and just make it shiny again because I have found that Windex is sort of a multi-purpose cleaner. I've used it in many other ways other than cleaning glass. So I am using it here and it's really great at shining it up whether you have resin, plastic, glass or any other aluminum outdoor furniture. It does a great job at cleaning it and it is also said to keep bugs away so I have yet to see that but I'm going to be giving it another try and see if it actually works I'm waiting around for something real I'm going crazy Like what's 
what's the deal? Cause I want you to show me what you feel. You're watching me like you want me, but you're still holding back, still holding back. Honestly, you're annoying me with the way that you keep playing. Show me your love like it is, like it is. And open my heart like you're fearless. Still on the go. You're fearless Steal all the gold You can get, you can get Show me your love And leave me breathless, breathless Later on in this video, I will also share another way to use Windex, so stick around for that. And if you guys would like to see a full video on uncommon Windex uses, let me know down below and I would be more than happy to film that for you guys. I am now done cleaning the patio furniture so I'm moving on to wipe down this fridge that we have outside as well as the grill and then I will come back to clean the floors.
don't know what else to do I wanna get away from every little thing Just to try to make it through So initially I thought to use my old vacuum to vacuum up this area rug outside and then also in the front porch as you guys will see later on. But when I tried to turn it on for some reason the motor head at the bottom was not spinning. So I had to wait until my husband got home so he could take a look at it and he ended up being able to fix it. But since my first option didn't work I'm going to finish off with the broom. Catch my breath. I've been trying everything I can. I ain't got nothing left I've been staring at the ceiling I've been staying up all night Everything I ever worked for Vanished in the blink of an eye I've been asking every question Cause I haven't got a clue Why's it gotta be me? What the hell am I supposed to do? The back patio is all nice and clean so now I'm moving over to our front porch. It's later in the afternoon so by this time my husband has already fixed our Dyson vacuum and I will be able to use it here but I had noticed that our floor mat was just very dusty as well as these doors and everything because since there's a lot of construction going on around us we're actually getting neighbors to our sides. There's like just dust and debris flying all over the place all the time so it really takes a lot to keep this area clean. So I'm going to be removing everything from here, cleaning down the windows on the door the door itself the mat this bench that you guys will see me on and then we end up with some power washing as well i don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights yeah. sort out all the lies oh baby yeah there was a part of me that knew that And still I'm caught by surprise oh. I thought you'd always be mine oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose yeah. Baby going down, 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 down yeah. Baby going down, 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 down yeah. Tried so hard to stay afloat Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes yeah. Baby going down, 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 down Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I thought it's time Just look at how dusty our front doormat looks. This just looks very dirty black. I think it's equally as dirty as white. So I'm just going to take my broom and dust off as much of the dirt and dust off from this mat. And then I actually end up just taking it off to the side and getting underneath it to give it an even better of a clean. And then I finish off with the vacuuming. We don't know, know us no more We don't know, know us no more We don't know, know us no more No, no, yeah I guess our dreams fell asleep There's 
There's no passion in the comatose Baby going down, down, down Baby going down, 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 down Tried so hard to stay afloat We keep moving like the river goes Baby going down, down, down Baby going down, 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 down And I thought it's time Now that the area immediately in front of the door is cleaned or as clean as I'm going to be able to get it for now, I'm going to go ahead and put the wreaths back on the door. I got these from Target not too long ago and I just love the way they look. And I'm also going to be wiping down the bench because I did step on it so I don't want to have any of that dirt on there from our shoes. I'm going to wipe that down and then put it back also in its spot. And then since we did some landscaping not too long ago, there was a lot of dirt that made its way onto the concrete so I will take the power washer and this is also the first time that we will be using this power washer and I'm going to try and wash this away but I did have a little bit of technical difficulties trying to actually get it powered on. I'm almost done with the power washing here so now we will move on inside so I can show you guys the other use I have found for Windex and that is if you have any squeaky doors which in this case our front door was starting to squeak you can simply take some of that Windex and spray it directly onto the hinges I just wiped away any of the excess that was dripping down but when you do this it just removes it completely away so instead of having to pull out that strong chemically WD-40 just use some Windex and it will do the same job And just like that, we no longer have a squeaky door with the use of some Windex. So now to move on to the recipe, I'm going to be cooking some beans, but you guys can definitely use canned beans. I like this Goya brand one in case um, you don't want to cook them. But I'm just going to be sorting through them, pulling them out, and just making sure there's no debris in them. Because there are quite a few times, as you guys will see in just a little bit, that I have found like little rocks in there. So I just want to sort through them and get rid of any of that. And then I'm going to fill up the pot with some water 
water, bring it over to a stove and bring it to a boil. Once it is boiling, I'm going to turn down the heat and just let it simmer for about two hours or so. That's how long it takes on my stove, but you might just want to watch it and make sure you still have enough water in there. So right around two hours for me again. And once they are all softened, you just wanna go ahead and put some salt in there to taste. Now for the salsa that I like to use for these nachos, you can definitely lower the quantities if you are not into spicy things, but you will need about four tomatoes, seven or eight chile de arbol peppers. You will also need four chile guajillo, and you can also use two serrano peppers. I typically even like to use habanero or ghost pepper, but I didn't have any on hand this particular day. So I went ahead and just substituted for two serranos. But if you want a little bit more of a kick, then you could definitely switch those out. Or for a milder taste, just not use the spicy chiles at all. And you will also need one tablespoon of the chicken bouillon, and then about a teaspoon of cumin, as well as a teaspoon of oregano, and then about a tablespoon of salt. And once you have that all in a pot, you will want to fill it up with some water, bring it to a boil, and then once it is boiling again, bring it down to a simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes, just until everything is soft and the skin on the tomatoes is starting to pull away. And just as if that was not spicy enough, I also like to take about three jalapenos and slice them open and cut them into small little slices. And then the little juice from them, I'm going to be putting it into this bowl on the side here and also adding a little bit more. So probably overall about half of a cup. And I will also slice up a fresh serrano pepper to just put as topping. Once the salsa ingredients are finished cooking, you're going to want to take a slotted spoon and just move it over into the blender. Move all of the chiles and tomatoes and all of that with a little bit of the water that was used to cook them in. As well as the jalapeno juice that was set aside and then blend it all together until it's a nice consistency and then mix in the bits of jalapeno that were cut up. So for the meat you could really use anything you'd like. In this case I chose shredded chicken and ground beef since my husband does not eat chicken. So for the chicken I just took the chicken breast and put them in a pot with water, brought them to a boil and boiled them for about 30 to 35 minutes until they were fully cooked. Then I took the chicken breast and put them into my KitchenAid blender with the flat beater attachment and then set it on low and that allowed me to shred the chicken. If you don't want to do this, you can also just take two forks and shred it that way and I also use some salt to taste. For the ground beef, I'm simply going to brown it and use some salt, some cayenne pepper, as well as some parsley and mix it all in there. Ideally, you would like to do this before it is completely browned so it can be more flavorful. And now for the beans that we baked earlier, you're simply going to take them and pour them into a blender and just blend them away. You can also use refried beans, but in this case, I just want to go ahead and use these up. So I'm just going to blend them right up and then we will move on to assembling the nachos. And for that, you will take some tortilla chips. I use this brand, the Calidad, and then I'm just going to spread this on this baking sheet and start topping it off with the beans. So just spread them all around. There's really no wrong or right way to layer these and you can omit or add any other ingredients you might want to do. But in this case, this is how I like to do them. So I'm adding all of the beans and then I will take the ground beef on one side since again my husband does not eat chicken so I'm trying to separate it here and then on the other side I will be spreading all of that shredded chicken there. Once the meat is on there I will take those chopped up serrano peppers also layer them on and then go back in with the salsa that we made and sprinkle that across in here as much or as little as you want as well. And then we're going to top this off with some cheese. I am using the cheddar cheese blend. You can use Mexican cheese blend or any cheese of your choice. And then we're going to bring it over to the oven. I'm using my toaster oven since this is not a big of a pan and I don't need to turn on my full oven. So I'm going to put it in here, turn it on to the broil setting for about three minutes. It might differ depending on your oven. So just keep an eye on it. What you want to do is just melt this cheese all the way through maybe even get it to start bubbling and get a little bit crispy. So once that is done, I'm going to pull it out and we are done. This is ready to be eaten and it's so delicious, but I love aguacate so much or avocado 
that I also like to cut up a few chunks on here and then top it off with some fresh cheese and it's just very delicious that way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Let me know down in the comments if you try it out, what you think of it. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave this video a like if you did. Subscribe if you are new and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.